You came to clean up this city, didn't you? <laughs> It'd be easier to burn it all, all, all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. my customers. Then they threatened to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's Let brand new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him, but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that, because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. 
No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down, and where am I supposed to play hooky then? Looks like someone should give you a slap on the wrist. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't do it. I know you. You don't hurt kids. The warrant cap. Come back with a warrant cap. Oh, I didn't know you had such amazing colors. And there's not one but two of you. From now on, I promise I will cherish you more often. Your body readings suggest substance misuse. Oh man, a real life TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I'm definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke. But I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! <laughs> Is that the ocean? the warrant. Oopsie, I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. <laughs> it's Robocop! Surrender your weapons.
open the door or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo. Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant. And don't you dare open that door. I'll shoot you. One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you. Me, it's you. I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Interrogation sequence initiated. You can't do it! I'm a respectable citizen, and I have complex health conditions! Okay, fine, I'll talk! They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building uh, a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Stay here. Dispatch, requesting a squad car. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000 registered to Melissa Kuzak. Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. So you would not want to earn some money, would you? I don't! I mean, I do. I do want to earn money. But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You want to bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalize phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're gonna get.
if someone starts shooting again, make sure the kids hide under the bed. Listen, guys, I'll never touch your stuff again, I swear! That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice! Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing costs is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice. All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical. Not to mention illegal. What the fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Oh, shit, man. Why did you do that? What am I going to sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape, such as how to get you, you will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean, I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept the stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. Drew a gun. Ask me for money. 
Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. But then he started shooting. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. The lesson for the future, to save yourself the trouble. Clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man! What a fucking joke! mourns the loss of Mr. Pinky, host of America's most beloved children's show, Growing Up with Mr. Pinky. He was brutally murdered by a motorcycle gang in a Chicago brothel after a heroin smuggling gone wrong. Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. You violated the law. Oh man. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage and now I have to pay for removing it myself? That's ridiculous. The moral is stay away from fishy activity. favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. When it comes to cleaning criminal scum from the city, I am even better alive. Can you tell me what happened here? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but, uh, Believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest.
the best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Now nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I'd bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. And we got the tire tracks, drag marks. Uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo. Uh, the body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. That's this green-blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more around. Yeah, it probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, man. Oh, I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh... It's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial and it's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened. Why do you think that aliens are involved? I saw the guy who dumped the body here. I saw his skin. It was green and glowing like those toy dinosaurs that children play with and years later develop serious diseases from. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? What is the purpose of your list? It's my tool to spread the truth. I update it every month and add it to my newsletter. You should read it. It's free. You'll find out some stuff that you wouldn't see on TV. Like what? 
Take the moon landing, for example. Didn't happen. Why? Because the moon doesn't exist. First time hearing about it? That's why you need my newsletter. I will verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the earliest possible time. Now, the set. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with! Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheelbase. We use a lot of different vans, but I would know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. I can make trouble for anyone who deserves it. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there, but look for something on Jenkins, too. The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? The perpetrator was someone with skin that seemed to be covered with sunblock. I saw the storyboard. You fit the description. Nice try, but I won't even touch that toxic goo. I've got it in the contract. I use body doubles for all the shots where I'm supposedly covered with it. Wait. That bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Why did you hire the understudy? 
Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock, and none of the professional understudies wanted to do it either. They all say it's toxic. So I had no choice. Jenkins brought a guy and said he could do the job. Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guys in the hospital are worse, because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take... Take it and get lost. The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You. You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's... No names. Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent! I swear! You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins, the guy from TV! You have to believe me! You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free! He's the one who killed Casey! They met here yesterday! Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit, but I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead, and I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it! Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good, and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station? That's a bit much even for this city. 
Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you? It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. I will verify your version of events, but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. Let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. This cannot wait. They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. I seen you on TV. You're glitching again! Ah, it hurts! For fuck's sake, it hurts! Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, 
I did some work on one of those cars recently, but I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I can come back with a warrant, but then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? This is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being, where is the suspect? You see... He hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it, but nearly every month he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life, and where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. That is all for now. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid, and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that.
Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So what, what, what you gonna do? You you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? I hereby assign you 40 hours of community service. D doing what? Painting over the illegal graphics. You're telling me I'll get to cap over tags of those assholes from the hood with police watching my back. Sweet! Oh God, I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX 6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's gonna fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit, it was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is gonna save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You can only hide for so long. It's the metal pick! Blast him! It's just a machine! Give him all you got! Oh, Take my freaking hand off! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. 
They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's asking if anyone found it. For some to learn how not to lose the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. Dad, what does eviction mean? And who's a debt collector? Why can't I open the door for him? Dad, tell me the truth. Are we poor? Dad? Dad! Tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but someone won't let you? Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared. Snoozers. Sleeping pills for kids. Just one pill can guarantee five hours of peace. Nap time just became your decision. Sleep tight, son. <sighs> I'm tired. Because you deserve a peace of mind, too.
can't believe you've actually done it. Do you think I could take that car back to the owner and say I'm sorry? Maybe she won't press charges. This car is now in police custody. Oh, please, I could really use a helping hand right now. Otherwise, I'm back in juvie. I do not trust criminals. You will explain yourself in court. I knew I had it coming. <laughs>